Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakah Kadash. And as you can see, the title of the video, Keep Your Integrity Through Trying Times. The times we're coming into, our faith is going to be tested. Our faith is going to be tried. And, you know, in this time, your faith is going to have to shine through. OK, over everything else. OK, all the teaching that we do, all the precepts that we break down, all the videos that we do, these things are to be an exhortation to the body. OK, to increase your faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Raising the hopeful elect of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And we know that in this time, Esau Edom is about to come down with great wrath. Because he knows that his time is short. He's going to come with all kinds of draconian measures, all kinds of unrighteous decrees. Okay, this, this man is even going to bring death upon the earth. All right? And so much so to the point where if you're not grounded in your faith, these things are going to shake you up. And you're going to seek a solution outside of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? So that's why, like I said, in these times, your faith is going to have to shine through. Your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to have to be to the utmost importance. Okay, your faith is going to have to be strong because if it's not, bottom line, you, you, bottom line, you're going to fold, man. You know, you're going to fold, you're going to run, you know, and seek solutions elsewhere other than trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So this is Ecclesiasticus 12, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay, so when you look back at the prophets of old, okay, you look back at Noah, you know, uh, the, three, the three holy children that were thrown into the fiery furnace, okay, Daniel. All right. Moses, <clears throat> you know, Jeremiah, you know, Zechariah, Isaiah. OK, when, when you look at all the prophets of old, what was one thing, the one thing that they all had in common? They all trusted in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and they trusted in him unto the death. In the days of Noah, OK, Noah being warned of things not seen as yet in the days of Noah, no one had ever seen rain come down upon the earth. But the almighty Yahweh gave the report to Noah saying that I want you to build this ark because this ark is the salvation for you and your household. All right. So Noah, operating off of faith and moving in fear, built that ark. OK, now Noah could have easily said, hey, you know what? I never seen rain come down upon the earth before. I don't believe it. Okay, Noah could have been a scoffer, all right? But Noah had faith in the report of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, so he moved with fear. The ark was a sign of Noah's belief, okay? The ark was a sign of Noah's of, of Noah's uh faith in, in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. If Noah didn't believe in 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 the report, then he never would have put his hand to forth to 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 build the ark. All right. That's that's as it is written. Faith without works is dead. OK, so if you believe something, you're going to put works towards it. OK, bottom line. So when you look at the generations of old, did ever any trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai it was confounded? And the answer is no. Anyone who ever trusted in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Okay, going back into the scriptures, as it is written, the things written aforetime are written for our learning. Okay, so we can learn something from all the accounts that were written aforetime in the scriptures. These things are to be an exhortation unto us to build our faith and, and to stand strong in times of adversity. You see, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? The answer is no. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? If... You know, hey, when times get hard out here, when, you know, when, when, 
when, when, when it seems like there is no hope and you call upon that name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's going to be a blessing unto you. Because majority of these people out here in this world, they don't know the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. So they don't have that real hedge of protection. But those of us that have been called into this marvelous light, those of us that have been called into this wise counsel through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you have to understand that you're in a very privileged and blessed position in these last days compared to the multitude that, you know, walk around in this world that have no idea what's coming and what's going on. You see? So it's for us to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and not to doubt, not to not to fear. All right. Now let's get uh let's get this. Okay. Let's see what I want. Fool and the wicked. Okay. So this is uh this is the book of Proverbs, the eighteenth chapter, and I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start at the tenth verse. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city and as a high wall in his own conceit. Before destruction, the heart of man is haughty and before honor is humility. Yeah. So the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is a strong tower. And if you're wise, if you're if you're seeking to please the heavenly father and his only begotten son you're going to run into that tower okay when all hell breaks loose upon the earth you're going to call upon the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because we trust in that name and and we believe upon that name okay so it's, then it goes on to verse 11 say the rich man's wealth is his strong city and as a high wall in his own conceit Okay, so the rich, those that have money, you know, they're, they're, they're not going to be calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They're, they're going to be depending on their riches to save them in the day of destruction. All right, but all of that is in vanity because these things are all going to be destroyed and taken away. The only thing that's going to stand is your faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Anything, anything outside of that is a vain hope. Verse 12, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. Okay, so before destruction comes upon the earth, the heart of man is haughty. And when you go into that word haughty, it basically means high minded, you know, basically pride. Okay, so the heart of man is proud and before honor is humility. Okay, so those of us that, that you know, strive to the best of our ability you know, to to bring forth the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. At the end of all of this, we're going to be risen up if we continue. OK, because before we get honor, we have to be humiliated, which is what we're going through right now. OK, we have been abased to 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 the lowest point that we've ever been, man. OK, everyone looks down upon the Israelites, everyone holds the Israelites in a low regard. Okay, we are not respected as a whole throughout the earth. But the time is coming where, you know, our kingdom, where our turn is coming upon the earth, where we're going to have rulership and we're going to be exalted. But before we get that, we have to go through humility. Okay, so this is all according to the script. Matthew ten twenty eight. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Okay, so we are not to fear the advances of Esau Edom. Okay, this, this man is trying to coerce you into taking the juice. Okay, very soon he's going to coerce you into taking the MOTB. We are not to fear these things. We are to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because all that Esau can do to you is destroy your flesh. Okay, Esau has the power to put you to death. But he doesn't. But Esau has no power over your soul. Okay, Esau has no power over your spirit, man. You see, so we, so we are not to fear man. We are not to fear the advances of the devil. We are to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because he has control over your body and your soul. Okay, to destroy it in hell, to destroy it in a low condition. You see, 
So, hey, man, when these things, and very soon, you know, all of us are going to have to make a decision. Okay, all of us are going to have to choose what side we're on, whether we're going to side with the wicked or whether we're going to side with Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, that, that, that very clear distinction is coming very soon. If you take the MOTB, you on the side of Esau. But if you suffer for righteousness sake, for the kingdom of heaven, for the for for the namesake of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, then in the end you're gonna be exalted, okay, and you're gonna receive that crown. All right, and that's ultimately what we strive for. And this is the last precept, Romans 1, verse 17. For therein is the righteousness of Yahweh revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Okay? So the just shall live by faith, man. So when, you know, when it seems like there's no hope, when, it, you know, when, 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 when you're wondering where, you know, how you're going to eat, okay, where you're going to lay your head, where you're wondering if, if you're going to live, listen, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai knows all of that. Okay, so these things are not for you to, you know, stress yourself out to, you know, bug yourself out over these cares, man. Okay, these things, the things that are going to come upon the earth are going to happen for a reason, and that's to fulfill prophecy. Okay, now we know that, you know, we, we have to trust and have faith that the Lord is going to make a way for us through all of this. Okay, we have to trust and believe in that, and that's the only way that you're really going to have comfort in the times to come. You know what I'm saying? You have to believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to make a way for you when all hell comes upon the earth. When it seems like all hope is lost. You see? That's going to be our only hope is, is to have faith in the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That yeah, He will make a way for us. Just as He made a way for Noah. Just as He made a way for Daniel when he was in the lion's den. Just as He made a way for the three holy children where they when they were thrown into the fiery furnace. Okay? So hey, we need not to fear the things that are coming upon this earth, but we have every reason to be bold in our faith and stand as as as, as bold as lions, okay? So this is where our mindset should be at, and this is why we have to continually build our faith. Because like I said, the time is coming where your faith is going to have to shine, okay, where your faith is, you know, is going to have to be on full display, man. All right. So, Lord willing, that lesson was uh, encouraging and edifying through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Um, until next time, Lord willing, I say shalom unto the elect.